So as if this offseason couldn't get any more insane and crazy, uh, Justin Blackman is back from the dead, and, uh, wow, my boy's got an Instagram account, and, uh, yeah, like, Maurice Jones-Drew follows him, uh, Cecil Shorts follows him, I think Fred Taylor might even, or, um, maybe Jimmy Smith, someone else, a lot of Jaguar players follow him. And uh, he's been posting some pretty cryptic tweets. Uh, the one that he posted today, I think, um, was him in like an edited version of the Jags' current uniform. And he's kind of like hinting at wanting to make a comeback. And um, listen, back in the good old days... Well, not really the good old days. There really hasn't been a whole lot of good old days for this franchise. Back in 2012, Little Jersey Jaguar, when he was stupid and pretty much didn't know a whole lot about football and just pretty much listened to what the national media told him. It's actually not a whole lot different from now, but oh, a little different. Um... I wanted Justin Blackman to be a Jacksonville Jaguar. And I remember sitting in my bedroom. And I remember hoping and just filled with anticipation. Hoping that he would fall to seven where the Jags were picking. And when we moved up to five to pick Justin Blackman, I was pretty happy. In fact, I made a Facebook post about it. Every year, the stupid Facebook memories likes to remind me, April, whatever day it is, I look and there it is. I, I said something stupid like, already a perfect draft from Gene Smith. Justin Blackman's a Jaguar, something stupid. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that was me. And... I was pumped. I was excited. And uh, that rookie year, he gave me every reason to be. And the first four games that he played of his sophomore year, he gave me even more reason to be. The dude looked dominant. The dude looked like every bit the player we thought he was going to be coming out of college. But then he couldn't stay off the weed, uh, as Stephen A. Smith likes to say. Actually, he's not so much the weed, but he couldn't put down the bottle. And after his second or th third DUI, second, I think, uh, good old Roger Goodell, he suspended my boy indefinitely and has not been heard from since. Has just pretty much been a non-factor in existence. Um, the Jaguars have hilariously enough, still owned his rights for all these years now, almost a decade, which is just mind-boggling to think of. Um, and they're just sitting on his rights because the commissioner's never going to unsuspend him. Which brings me to really the whole point of this video. I understand that Jaguar fans right now are delirious with joy and... I am too, to an extent. I really am. Um, we have the best quarterback that we've had since Mark Brunell, and the man hasn't taken a snap yet. Um, a lot of you are happy about Tim Tebow. I'm going to shut my mouth on that issue because it offends a lot of people. And Jaguar fans are pumped and hyped. And then something like this comes along and people are like we gotta get Justin Blackman we gotta get Justin Blackman back we gotta get him back we gotta reinstate him he's gonna play again yeah <sighs> listen guys listen and I'm not saying this to be a jerk I'm not saying this to offend any of you upset any of you although I'm sure half of you probably already are um 
Justin Blackman will never play football again. He will never play football ever, 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 ever again. Now, what I wish was the reality was that he didn't have problem problems with booze and that he was a eight, nine time pro bowler with us and that he would have been dominant and he would have been our Julio Jones. And instead of all these uh, hypothetical scenarios where we trade for Julio Jones, which also will not happen. Let me just throw that out there. People need to stop with that. Like, Justin Blackman, hope, my, what I would want is that he would be our Julio Jones. That is not the case. That is not possible. That is not the reality that he chose. Um, Jersey Jaguar, why can't we give him a chance? Why can't we give Justin Blackman a chance? Tim Tebow's back. Why can't we give Justin Blackman a chance? Well, I'm going to tell you why we shouldn't give Justin Blackman a chance. DJ Chark. Who's better right now? Ask, ask yourself this question watching this video. Who's a better wide receiver right now as of this day? March, or not March, God. May 25th, 2021 or whenever you watch this video. Think of the day. On this day. DJ Chark or Justin Blackman? Who's better? Who's better? LaVisca Chanel or Justin Blackman? Who's better? Marvin Jones or Justin Blackman? I don't know. Colin Johnson or Justin Blackman? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. I wish it wasn't the case. I wish that Justin Blackman never had his issues. I know I'm kind of being a little over the top here with this video. Um, my hope for Justin Blackman, I don't hate Justin Blackman. I'm sure some people watch this and be like, oh, what a, this guy's a jerk, this guy's an idiot, he hates Justin Blackman, blah, 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 blah. No, I really wanted him, like I said in the draft. I was ecstatic when we drafted him. I was heartbroken, and I was... I was I remember being totally angry, devastated. It was like my sophomore year in college. And I was miserable as it was. And I remember seeing the news that he was indefinitely suspended by the commissioner. And it like ruined my week. So I do not hate Justin Blackman. I hate what the path that he chose for his life. Um, I hate that what he could have been and should have been is not reality. Um, my personal hope for him is that if his life is really back on track, I think that's awesome. I hope he never touches a bottle of alcohol ever again or, you know, weed or whatever, whatever it is that he drugs. I don't, I think with him it was primarily alcohol. He might have dabbled a little bit in drugs, but I think his main demon that he fought was alcohol. I hope he has victory over that. I hope he has relief over that because alcoholism is no joke and it ruins people's lives and it definitely ruined his. Um, care about the dude personally. Um, but at the end of the day, he will never play football again. It's cool that he's on Instagram. I follow him. I think it'd be pretty cool if he followed me back. But he'll never suit up for the Jaguars. But you know what? I will say this. If he ever were to suit up for the Jaguars, and if he somehow made the 53 because the dude was in such incredible shape, and he just looked great, then no one on this planet would be happier than myself. I would be through the roof, ecstatic, so happy I'd probably buy the guy's jersey. I'd be thrilled. I'd be thrilled. But it's just not going to happen, you guys. It's not going to happen. 
So, the best thing to look at with the Justin Blackman situation is, is the guy in good mental and um, physical health, mental health, whatever, with his condition. If that is the case, um, then that's awesome. And that's really, at the end of the day, what matters. Um, and as football goes, we don't really need him, to be honest. But if we had him, if he was in acceptable shape, then that'd be awesome. Trevor Lawrence would be happy, and I'd be happy. But we got to think about reality here, you guys. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you made it this far, give your boy a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to this wonderful, fantastic YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button if you love the Jacksonville Jaguars and you despise those filthy, rotten Tennessee Titans. I hope you have a wonderful day.